Hi Sam, here's your custom made shower head installation video. So, three kinds of pliers I'm going to show you. One is device grips. Um, this screw here is what opens or closes the jaws. Um, the best way to, once you clamp down on something, the best way to get it off is to squeeze these while you pull it apart. You wouldn't need that much squeezing, but this is probably maybe a little easier than regular pliers. Regular pliers, if you do this, you can see that's just too big to get a good bite on there. The pipe's too big. So you, what you do is you open up all the way and slide that, and that opens the jaws more so you can get a, a grip on something. Um, and then you've got channel locks. Some of them call sliding channel pliers or whatever, which is the same principle. You can't get a bite on that. So you get it to where it's the right amount, and then you um, then you get it. However you do it, on chrome pipes, you're always going to want to protect it with a paper towel, several thicknesses, or terry cloth rag or something, and do this. Now with, with these channel locks, they're designed to go this way, and it'll bite into the pipe that way. If you try to do it this way, it doesn't bite this way bites and grabs it and actually this one would have been a little better if I'd have done it a little bit tighter so just a little bit about pliers so right now you're if this is chrome of course and if you need a longer arm to get away from the wall so that you're like let's say this is yours right now and you want to tilt your shower head down it might hit that wall to where you can't tilt it down enough so if you had a longer one, you could tilt it down further. Anyway, just get pliers and unscrew this from the wall. And that's kind of what's in the wall there. Not plastic, of course, it's brass or something, but there's threads in the wall that are a half inch. And what you want to do is, when you get it off, clean those threads out a little bit with a, a screwdriver or something like that. Make sure these threads are clean. And if, you're, if there's not a bunch of water in here, if you're able to drain the water out the bottom with a lever or something, do that. The best way to do it is to get a vacuum and just put it around here a little bit. But if there's a bunch of water right up to the bottom of the pipe level back here, it would suck all that in the vacuum. But anyway, it also helps to kind of get a toothbrush and clean it out and then blow it out. Okay. So then when you're getting your new pipe, your, your new... Um, shower head pipe ready to put in. Let's say this is it, okay? So you've got your trim ring, which is on your current one right there against the wall. You can either pull that off and put it on the new one, or you can just get a new one of these. They're, they're pretty cheap and they're, they look good. So anyway, you wanna put that on and it goes on one way, which will be obvious. It'll, it'll cone onto the wall. So you put that on before you do your um, thread, to your Teflon tape and put it on and then like that. So as far as the Teflon tape goes, that's this stuff. You may already have some, may not, but they're like a buck 50 or so at Home Depot and it's just called Teflon tape. So you wanna make sure you put the Teflon tape on the pipe, the correct rotation, otherwise it won't work right. And that has to do with the way that this screws onto a pipe. So if you were to put it on, um, this way, first of all, you hold it like that for the first rotation and then you go like that. Let's say you put it on that way. Now you would normally, you know, throw this against the thing, but just as an illustration, if you start screwing it on like this, it's gonna wanna unravel this tape, which of course you don't want. So if you put it on the correct way, which is, I would call it clockwise. You just start the tape way back here somewhere and you can pull the tape off when you're done to make it look nice. And you go like this. And once the tape wraps itself around itself, then it's not gonna slip off of there. And you wanna pull it a little bit tight. And you don't wanna go more than five times around at the very most. What you also don't wanna do is this, because then the water would force it through and into your shower head, which of course you don't wanna wreck those holes. So once you do it this way, and then you go like that, and you smooth it down, 
And again, you've already got your beauty ring on here. You put it like that, screw it in hand tight, really hand tight. And of course, there's a diagonal piece down here that you can grab and kind of give you a little more. Make sure you don't cross thread it like that. Um, you'll know because it will go in a full two or three turns easily if you have it straight in. If you don't, if you have it cross threaded, it'll start acting weird and back it right back out and just make sure you're straight in. Anyway, once you get it hand tight, you only need one turn or maybe at the most two more turns. Um, and that's it. Otherwise, you might screw this thing up behind the wall. Um, and those other turns after hand tight, of course, is where your pliers come into play. That's it. There's your custom made shower head um, installation video. One more thing on the other side of this, where it goes diagonal and then down, the piece from the shower head that fits on here, um, if it's like a hose connection where you have um, a rubber o ring or a rubber washer inside the fitting that screws in, then you don't need pipe tape, Teflon tape on this part of it. If it does not have a, a um, washer, then you do need pipe tape. However, the one you've already got on there, that one I'm almost guarantee you has the kind of washer that I'm talking about. Just a second. Like this washer, this rubber washer right here means that you don't need a, um, you don't need plug. Teflon tape on this part down here. That's it. Love you. Have a good time with it. Bye.